Today on the Stay at Home Chef, we are making the best French toast casserole. Instead of making individual French toast, try this recipe for a casserole style, which is so easy, you'll have a warm, delicious breakfast. To start, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Grab one loaf of bread and cube it up into one to two inch size cubes. Whenever I have leftover bread or rolls, I cube them up and throw them in the freezer and they work great for this recipe. Really, any bread will do great. I've even used hot dog buns before. Just don't use a savory flavored bread like garlic parmesan or something like that. You're gonna need about 10 to 12 cups of cubed up bread. You're gonna wanna put that in a greased nine by 13 style dish. Set that aside and get out a large mixing bowl to make the most flavorful mixture that really makes this the best French toast casserole ever. Add in eight large eggs, one and a half cups of whole milk, one cup of heavy cream, half a cup of packed brown sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Whisk these ingredients together until they're well combined and there's no lumps. Now a really fun hack that my family loves is to simply use a sweetened coffee creamer. Choose your favorite flavor and add two and a half cups of that with the eight eggs instead. There are so many fun flavors out there, you really can put whatever spin you want on this French toast casserole. Carefully pour that mixture over the bread cubes and make sure all of those cubes get well saturated. If you want to add in some berries, I recommend using about a cup worth of small berries, and I like to gently press them in. Totally an optional way to do it. Half my kids like the berries and half like it plain, so I make mine half and half. I like to add an extra layer of love to this casserole, so I make a simple topping by adding to a bowl half a cup of packed brown sugar and half a cup of softened salted butter, two tablespoons of flour, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Mix that all together until it resembles wet sand. And sprinkle that topping over the top of your casserole. Bake that in a preheated oven for 45 to 55 minutes until the center is set and the top has become a more golden brown. Serve with a dollop of whipped cream, some syrup, and some fresh fruit and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.